Hello, my name is Henna Hynynen and I'm an MBA student at Aalto University Executive Education. This is the second episode of my Aalto MBA journey vlog. Welcome to my home. Today I will be discussing what does it take to go through one module, what assignments are required, how long the learning process is and how do I prepare myself for these modules. You know, one module is worth of four and a half European credits and in order for me to graduate I need to have the minimum requirement of 90 European credits. Out of this there are compulsory core modules, business project and a self-development process and in addition I will select electives where I will specialize in my chosen area of concentration. For me this means that my primary choice has been renewal and transformation and I also aim for the second one which would be entrepreneurship. So let's start with what happens before the face-to-face -face model days. This is called pre-model period where I am required to submit a pre-assignment. In this pre-assignment, I demonstrate my learning of the key concepts that have been presented in the pre-reading material set by the professors. The amount of material varies and they can be books, academic articles, um, case examples or some type of combination of them all. So far I have learned that to complete the pre-assignment, I always carefully check the outline where it is clearly stated what reading should be done in order for me to complete my pre-assignment. I complete that one first and then I will move on to read the rest of the material. These instructions are always sent approximately three weeks prior the face-to-face -face learning days and the deadline to submit the pre-assignment is usually few days prior the model start. I always start working on the pre-assignment as soon as possible. There is a small overlap with the previous model's final assignment. So what I usually do is that I complete that one first and once that is ready, I will jump on into the new subject. You know, my personality doesn't allow me to leave things in a last minute, especially if the topic is something which is a bit unfamiliar for me, I like to reserve uh, enough time to get myself prepared for the upcoming model days. What this means is that usually I book one full weekend where I can work on my paper two days in a row and then the reading part I usually allocate evenly within the weeks. By preparing myself well, before the day, model days, I allow myself to get the basic understanding of the concepts that are required to be understood before entering the model. This way I can also share my insights and ideas and take out everything I can from the model days. After the pre-model period, the five-day in-class sessions start. This is a full Friday and Saturday and usually the following week we meet on three evenings, Monday, Wednesday and Thursday. In these face-to-face -face learning days I get to deepen my knowledge with my Aalto MBA peers and the professor. You can only imagine when a group of people comes together with all different, having all different backgrounds and we start sharing ideas, insights and experiences, the amount of learning is incredible. I mean, I have learned so much out of different industries. Also, I do appreciate the fact that the professors have a broad business experience in addition to their academic qualifications. You know, they can bring these case examples from real life, which really bring the content alive. The teaching methods of the professors vary quite a lot, but usually there is always a group assignment in smaller groups. Sometimes we get more time to prepare these presentations during the models, another time we must find the time somewhere else. 
in the end of the models we always pre present these cases to one another and this has definitely also taught me how to become more familiar living with uncertainty. Also we are constantly rotating the groups so you learn how to work with different people in a limited amount of time. The face-to-face -face learning days are definitely intense and long when you add your work and personal life responsibilities on top of it. But I do believe it all comes down to priorities and structuring your days well in advance. During these weeks I also like to get the basics right. So for me this means that I always have healthy, good, nutritious food available with me. I keep myself hydrated and you know sports is something that has always given me more energy so maybe I don't train so intense mode but I, I choose to go for a light run in the morning or I will do yoga which really gives me this good strength to start the day. The support that I receive from my Aalto MBA peers is something very valuable and definitely helps me to keep my energy levels high. Our cohort is full of people who know how to enjoy life so we definitely know how to bring the fun to the model days. We have been able to create this open and relaxed environment where, which is fruitful for the learning. You know, usually we always on Friday or Saturday evening after the model also organize some type of get together. This can be going for a dinner or what we have liked to do is also organize company visits. So each participant can invite us to visit their company where we will spend time together, deep dive to understand more what the company is all about and just spend time together. This has definitely brought us much more closer being one cohort, one team and has definitely deepened our friendships. After the in-class days, the post-module period starts. During this time I am required to submit my final assignment which is in most of the cases take home assignment. For the financial models there might be in-class exam taken in place. In my take home assignment I demonstrate my learning to real life. I often do select the company where I work for as my case example but if I want to I can always select whatever company I would like to deep dive into. Usually I do so that after these intense face-to-face uh, -face learning sessions are over uh, I allow myself to have few days free where I just start processing everything that I have just learned and I start structuring in my head how I would like my final assignment to look like. Once all of this has been sorted out um, I start working on the paper. Usually I book the full weekend so I work two days intense uh, on the paper and as an outcome I usually have one, the first draft version. Obviously the final uh, assignment is much bigger exercise than the pre-assignment so it does require much more attention from me. So then I will just start in the following week working piece by piece the paper until the outcome is something that I'm happy with. So basically what I have just described to you is in total a six week learning process requiring quite a lot of attention. I do believe that when I have my priorities clear I structure my days well in advance and I keep being honest to myself what are my expectations from the studies I will do just perfectly in this program. You know, now that I have a little over one year of experience from these studies, of course I can recognize that there are times when maybe I cannot put as much focus and attention as I would like to, but in those moments I really try to remember to look the big picture, the full journey, instead of focusing too much on one module. 
I have definitely learned a lot about having to practice more self-compassion, you know, treating myself with kindness when estimating my own capacity and then just doing the best I can. Self-leadership is something that I've also learned quite a lot. Um, you know, how do I influence to my own thinking, feeling and actions and having high self-discipline definitely helps me to go through this two-year journey. Thank you for watching. Next time you get to see where I work. Ciao!